Hi and welcome! In this video tutorial, we will see if the recording and playback works in ScoreCloud for Mac and Windows. First, let's test if the program can record our MIDI input. Click play in the welcome window. Use the virtual piano to play on your computer keyboard. Press for example Q, W, E to see if it works. We could hear the MIDI notes and see them down here. If you have an external MIDI keyboard connected, please test that device as well. Now, let's test the microphone. Click on record audio. Make a sound and the level meter to the right should move. Let's select voice recording and then click record. Do, 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 do. The recording will show up here. You can see the waveform and also that the notes look correct. Select the recording and press play to listen to the recording. Do, 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 do. If the recording is very quiet or there is lots of background noise, try to move closer to the mic. The MIDI keyboard, microphone and playback seem to work. Now, let's look at the preference window. Go to audio and MIDI. And these are the default settings. Audio input as system default. Audio output as system default. MIDI input as all. MIDI playback will use the audio output. And MIDI echo set to same as playback. System default means that ScoreCloud uses your computer's settings. You can open system preferences by clicking on this link. Input, internal microphone. Output, internal speakers. If you want to use specific settings, an external mic or speaker, you can select those. If the status light is green, it works. Let's look at the advanced settings. Here you will find latency, buffer and sample rate. On a Windows computer, there is a feature called exclusive mode. This means that no other software can use the sound card while ScoreCloud is running. With exclusive mode enabled, a lower latency and buffer setting can be used. Now you can close the advanced settings. A last setting to apply. Please go to the computer's sound preferences. Under input and turn off noise reduction. This will greatly improve the results from your audio recordings. On Windows, check properties of your input device to see if it has noise reduction and turn it off. Lastly, here are some tips and common issues. If the playback crackles, it usually helps to increase the latency and buffer values, but keep them as low as possible, especially if you're using an external MIDI keyboard. If there is an audio output error message popping up, there is likely a sample rate mismatch. Please check the computer's input and output sample rate, so that it is the same as ScoreClouds. Unusual sound cards, microphones and webcam mics might have a different sample rate. Make sure to check the sample rates match. If the input level is too low, please make sure you have selected the correct mic and if you have an external mic, make sure to consider the sound card setting, mic or instrument. You can also try another input. If the sound doesn't work, you can also try to restart audio and MIDI. 
Also, if the sound doesn't work as it should, try closing any other software that uses the sound, including music players and web browsers. Find more tips and troubleshooting at the FAQ section on our website, scorecloud.com. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out our other tutorials.